Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to talk about how to creating a facet object in the Rhino 3D software using the whiskey glass as an example in this tutorial. Are you ready? Let's get started. Before we started, the main focus for this tutorial is how to create those facet and that it look like it's really a uh, facet glass there. And also I will recommend you to build a liquid as well. And so when you assign a material, it will look much better. It will look like layering and also throw some eyes in there to make it look realistic. So that's starting from the scratch. So that's coming into the top view. We want to draw a circle for whatever that size of the whiskey glass is going to be. And since we are not printing it out, I'll just show you the demo. So I'm not going to measure it. Uh, we have a circle with the circle command here and we want to come into a rebuild. Uh, normally I would like to stay degree three because I want organic shape. In this case, I just want them to be degree one. As you can see, the line gets straighter and I want to have a lot more point. So let's say I'm going to have 18 point right there to get a lot more facet. Once we are done, we have something like this. Okay. Now the second thing I wanted to do is I want to extrude it to the bottom. So at least get my bottom has a little bit thickness right there. Now the second things I wanted to do is also have the same one and I'm going to bring it up one more time by extrude it with the gumbo. So once I extrude it, I get something like this. Okay. With this one, I simply just going to explode it everybody and I'm going to pick up everyone beside one. So we just need to keep one. Let's go ahead to delete bunch of them here, bunch of them here and but not the one on the bottom. All right. So those I want to delete them and we just need one faces there. So now let's take a look on the right view. If I turn on the control point that I have here, I could pick up both of them and then scale it back to the point. So I get that triangle right there. And then as you can see, we have something like this. Okay. Now you can have this one to be push out a little bit depends on how what you like for your design i'm going to turn on control point one more time and i want to go to move it out just a little bit like this because it's a degree one curve so it won't give you the curve it will give you a straight line there no matter how you move them all right so now i have this one i'm going to do the same thing with the polar array so we're going to use the polar array and because we are editing them into the 18 point let's hit the center for zero and we want a number for 18 and then this is what we get everybody is on the same place okay Again, depends on what design that you have. I'm going to group them temporary first and I'm going to mirror it to with the mirror command from this point to this point and then we'll get something like this. All right. So now we have the facets right in the middle need to figure it out. We can simply just using this command called surface from two, three, four edges curve. And we're going to pick up one, two, three, and four, and then, then we'll get this facet there. All right. So you can kind of like creating your faces unlimited possibility. Let's go ahead to use a polar array one more time. And we are staying with the same number for 18. All right. So then that's how I get those facet. Now you can continue to play with it. I'm simply just going to mirror to the other side and to get something like this. And then again, you can mirror one more time to get something like this. So now I have a towel with the glass into like a different, maybe this is too tall. I am going to remove one section right there. Okay. Now on the top, we can turn on the control point and moving all those points up a little bit. Just want to create a little bit difference compared to, you know, the pattern on the bottom. And again, I can simply just draw a line going from this point to this point. And we are going to creating the surface by surface from two, three, four edges. So one, two, and three. 
So then we get that surface. Any surface that you get, just need to polar array. Center is zero, doing 18 of them, and then you'll get something like this. Double check if this is a pattern for what you're looking for, and check on the render view, it usually give you a good idea. Okay, so we need to close the button that's common to using this command surface from planar curve, and we want to pick up the curve from the button. And then we want to hit enter, so we'll have that. Make sure you join back together. All right, so for the whiskey glass on the bottom, is usually thicker. So I simply just going to making a copy by holding the shift and hit the all key there. And then I want those two to be aligned on the top. So let's go into use the align tool to align to the top somewhere like here. All right, so if you take a look on the perspective, you're going to see is I have the bottom is a bit thicker compared to the rest of the thickness. And of course, if you want, you can always make it thicker, right? So in this case, I'm just going to change in the color so it's easier for you to see what is going on there, all right? So for the liquid that I'm going to use, I'm gonna control C, control V, and making another one, and hiding one of the set here. And in fact, I'm going to hiding another set right there. It's easier for you to see. So I'm gonna cut it off somewhere right there, and that's where the liquid is going to be, and I'm going to use the trim command to trim this off right there. Okay, so if you take a look, we have this exactly shape with our glass, and I'm just going to cap it to make it into solid. Now, if I turn it back to the one that I have, it's the red one, actually, I'm going to turn that into the green color. So this is represent the liquid there. I mean, for printing, you don't have to do it. For rendering, you probably wanted to do that. Now the way to close this gap there, because it's a glass, it shouldn't be like too harsh to the mouth. So we are gonna come in to use the surface tool. You have a blend surface, and you wanna make sure chain edge is equal yes before you click on anything. And then we wanna click on here. That will be our first one. And this will be our second one. All right, once you hit enter, you're gonna have this really nice and bump there. Depends on how you like it. I will like it a little bit lower, right about here, and click OK there. All right, so that way we can join all of them and become one piece. And again, you can put in some cube or the box there to make it look like the ice cube. And once you render, they will look really nice because you have all the reflection and the facet with the glass material. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like to see more tricks and tips, please join my membership that support the small YouTuber like me that can keep produce a quality video for everyone. Thank you for watching and I will see you next.